Hi there, welcome to another episode of Get Gardening. Today's episode, it is now October, and it's time for me to bring in my Amaryllis and my Clivia for their winter storage. So I take them in my basement and I keep them where it's cool and dark for about three months. And then I slowly take them out of dormancy so my Amaryllis and Clivia can start blooming for me in the house. I've had my Clivia growing outside in a shady area all summer long and they look really nice and healthy and I've got some amaryllis planted in different places in the garden so I'm gonna go ahead and dig those up and show you where I'll store them for the winter time. So I keep my amaryllis in places that are in full sun during the summer and I have them in different places throughout the garden. I have a couple in pots and you can see this one here the color on the leaves is actually starting to fade a little bit, which is telling me it's already starting to slip into dormancy since the temperatures and the light level have changed. So I'm going to take a fork and just be careful that I don't damage that bulb and I'm going to slowly lift it up trying to get as much of the roots as possible so I can go ahead and place it in the basement. Just put the fork a little bit away and then go down a little bit and try to tease up the plant without breaking too much of the roots. All right. Pretty much in there. So I'm going to shake away as much of the dirt as possible because I don't want to be bringing in any plants, I mean little bugs or worms or anything into the house if I can avoid it. So I'll continue to shake that off, but you can see when you put your amaryllis in the ground, it develops a really nice healthy root system and that's what you want. It's taking in as much nutrients as possible so it has a lot to draw from to bloom. And I can see here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's actually little bulblets starting to form. So it's getting ready to send off some offshoots. So this is a great plant and it's just ready to slip into winter dormancy. So I'm going to take all my amaryllis, go ahead and dig them all up, and I'll bring you to my basement. Okay, here I am in my basement, and I pretty much just have a shelf down here that houses all of my tropical plants for the winter time. And right now, the first ones here are the Clivian amaryllis. So I pretty much just put them in here. Um, I'm not too particular about what I do with the bulbs. I've heard accounts that Keeping them on their side helps them bloom faster or better in the next year. I've kept them standing up like this. I keep some in pots, like the one over there, and they grow pretty well for me. I think the biggest part is letting them go somewhere in the sun and the clivia giving them a shady place outside for the summer as well. So like I said, these will pretty much sit down here for about three months. When I come back in... January all this foliage will be gone a lot of the roots might have dried up and I might need to tease them out But the bulbs will just be fine and I can start easing them out of dormancy I want to show you one last thing before I left This was one of the little bulblets that I separated earlier in the year and It grew one nice long healthy leaf and here is another one that I separated And so if you just keep growing your amaryllis, you'll get new ones for free. If you have amaryllis, tell me what is something you do to keep them blooming beautifully for you in the following season. So these will have to soon compete with all my other plants that will be sitting down here. I've got the elephant ears, the canna lilies, the dahlias, the hedicums. It's just going to be loaded. But by then all this foliage will probably have dried off and I can cut some of it away. So they'll make some room. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are able to get out there and get gardening.